Thank you for choosing me. I hope you enjoy yourself today. Oh, um, n nice to meet you. My name is Naoto Saito. I'm a second year university student and a member of the tennis club. And today, I was dragged to a hostess club by Chato, my senior. Man, you're so awkward around people. You're such a loser. Ha <laughs> ha. Ugh. That's right. I am extremely socially awkward and shy. I get flustered easily and stutter a lot, especially around women, and I've always been laughed at because of it. Chato probably invited me so I'd make a fool of myself, and in turn, he'd stand out. You're already so nervous. What are you going to do? The most popular hostess of this club is coming soon, you know? Huh? Does that mean... Thank you for waiting. I'm Reina. Wow! I knew it. This is Reina Mira. She attends our school, and she is famous for her beautiful looks. Not only is she beautiful, she also excels academically. At night, she works part-time at this hostess club. Reina! I want some fruit, please. Huh? Why do I have to feed you? You can feed yourself. She's so harsh. Uh, that doesn't change whether she's at school or at work. Ah, I love Reina's harsh, cold words. Despite her harsh words, she's apparently very popular at the club. Because of that, she has established herself as the number one hostess. Mm. Why is she glaring at me like that? Maybe she wants me to initiate a conversation. Okay, let's go. A few minutes later. You're boring. Huh? Reina is way out of your league. Look at yourself in the mirror before talking to her, okay? D don't take it too personally. We know you're a great guy. Despite my efforts to initiate a conversation, I was coldly dismissed by Reina. As you can see, my friends are trying to comfort me. However, I have a secret that nobody knows. The next day. Uh, morning. Oh, you finally woke up. Wait, Reina, have you been watching me this whole time? Well, because your sleeping face is cute. I never get tired of it. This girl who is saying adorable, endearing things is undoubtedly Reina Mira, the sharp-tongued hostess who coldly dismissed me last night. The truth is, we're childhood friends and we grew up together. Our parents are also friends from school, and we've been family friends for as long as I can remember. And so, back in kindergarten... I like you, Naoto. Can you sign this? I like you too, Reina. Let's get married. We made a promise to get married. Our parents were delighted and allowed us to be engaged. Typically, promises made in kindergarten are child's play, and they tend to be forgotten. However... Can you pamper me, please? I worked late last night, so I'm tired. I don't think a boring guy can pamper you. <laughs> you meanie. You know that I love you. For us, even as university students, we are still close. Reina acts completely different from her hostess club persona and is incredibly affectionate and clingy around me. Breakfast is ready. Let's eat. Hey, that bear looks cleaner than yesterday. Oh, I had some time, so I washed it. Aww, I'm so happy you take good care of it. I love you so much. You always carry it with you. It makes me happy too. Of course. This teddy bear is the first gift I received from you. We gave this teddy bear to each other when we made our promise. I have it displayed in my room, but Raina always keeps it close to her wherever she goes. And to us, this teddy bear represents our engagement. A few minutes later. Here, open your mouth. Wait, why are you sitting on my lap? Because yesterday you were getting all lovey-dovey with another girl, right in front of your fiancé. You were smitten with her. I wasn't. I'm only interested in you, Reina. But, but... <laughs> I can still smell that girl on you. I have to mug you with my scent. Stop talking like a dog. That's only loyal to Naoto. 
If my master had another female scent on him, I might get jealous and play some pranks. Ugh, she's so cute. All right, I understand. So what should I do to make it up to you? Hmm, how about patting my head? She really is like a dog. All right, is this good? Gah, she's giving such a cute reaction. Since we have no classes or work today, let's stick together all day long. Yeah, yeah. This is our life. Of course, Reyna only acts like this in front of me. As for her behavior at school... It's Reyna! She looks beautiful today, too. Reyna, please go on a date with me today. Huh? Ugh, you're so annoying. Can you disappear? Huh. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much! As usual, she's incredibly popular. However, after the day's lectures are over... Ah, uh, finally. I can be alone with Naruto. Let me recharge. Yeah, looks like you get it hard every day, being approached by guys. Yeah, even at work, guys try to invite me out after. I say no to all invitations, though. If that's the case, maybe you should quit working at the cabaret. Not an option. I still have a long way to go. Huh? Back in high school, one of my classmates said, She's always cold, so I feel bad for the guy who will end up dating her. What? That's not true at all. I know, but I started thinking, what if I eventually marry you and people don't like me? So I thought by working at the cabaret, I could learn the tricks to make you happy. Reyna. I can't quit my job if I want you to like me more. Hey, men like it when they're touched, right? Uh, w wait, is this also influenced by your work at the cabaret? Yeah, my co-worker taught me a lot of things. Come to think of it, she started getting closer and more affectionate after she started working at the cabaret. What about you, Naldo? Are you happy being close to me? Uh, of course I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy too. But I'm tired of being asked out on dates by other boys. I only need you to show me love. Then, what if we publicly declare that we're engaged to everyone? That's not a good idea. Do you remember what happened in elementary school? Ugh. Back in elementary school, there was a time when we talked about our relationship to others. However, I ended up becoming a target of hostility from the other boys. Reyna was, unsurprisingly, popular among the boys, and they didn't like that she was taken by an introverted person like me. Since then, Reyna has been reluctant to publicly declare our engagement because she didn't want me to get hurt. But by doing that, I'm only burdening Reyna. If I had been more confident and assertive, maybe things wouldn't have turned out like this. Afterwards, Reyna headed to work, and I returned home alone. However, wait, why are Chato and the members of the club at my house? We're having a drinking party with everyone. You said your parents aren't home much, right? So it's perfect. Ha <laughs> I, I'm not comfortable with you all suddenly coming over like this. Wait, you mean you didn't get permission? Charo said Naoto was okay with it, so we came. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's go in. W wait, please. A few hours later. Ha 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 ha. Drink up, everyone! <laughs> Shadow, you're drinking too much. The room is a mess! I wish they would leave already. Huh? What's this? <laughs> a teddy bear? Seriously, how girly can you get? Give it back! Oh, come on, let me see it for a bit. That means a lot to me. Please let go of it. Huh? You're getting cheeky, aren't you? Stop it! If you keep pulling like that... Whoa! Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't get upset over a teddy bear. What are you laughing at? This teddy bear was given to me as a gift by someone special. I can't forgive you for doing this. Apologize. Huh? Why should I apologize to you? 
It's your fault for having something like this in the first place. Huh? Hey, calm down, Chato. Sorry, Naoto. We'll take him home right away. We'll make him apologize properly next time. Let go! I'm not done talking yet! Uh... Darn. He broke something I value, and I couldn't even get him to apologize. I'm such a loser! I'm home! Huh? Naoto, what happened? Reina, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. That was something that meant so much to us. She's not getting away with this. But I'm also at fault here. I always let Chato walk all over me, and I'm unable to protect the things that mean most to me. I feel so pathetic. I'm truly sorry. Naoto. Naoto, you're not pathetic. Huh? I never really fit in, and I've never been one to have a lot of friends, right? I've been discouraged countless times, but every time you were there to comfort me. I love the kindness you show me, Naoto. You are my hero. You're not pathetic. I want you to be more confident. Reina! Okay, I can't keep feeling sorry for myself after all this encouragement. And if I stay like this, I won't be able to protect Reina. I need to take action. Thank you, Reina. I'll do my best to protect you. I won't let anyone destroy the things we value ever again. Yeah, I'm your cheerleader, Naoto. Days later, I decided to leave the club. The other club members who were there that day apologized again. However, I never received an apology from Chato, the person who owed me a proper apology. Being in different faculties and being in different years, our paths did not cross and time just passed by. Several months later. Done for the day. I need to contact Nato. Hello? I just finished work. Darn it! None of my pickup attempts are successful. <laughs> Why are you here? Hey, Reina! Meeting here must be fate, right? How about we go out for a meal together? I don't like players like you. See you. I am busy. Uh, now, wait a minute. Come on, just once. Look, I'm so good looking. There's no other guy out there who is a perfect match for a girl like you. I said I'm not interested. Let go of me. Oh, this teddy bear is the same as the one in Naoto's room. Is there something between you two? Ugh. Are you rejecting me because of Naoto? I can't stand that. Is that Reina and Chato? Just get rid of this shabby thing. I'll buy you a much better one. Stop! That teddy bear is important to Reina. Give it back to her. N naoto Why are you here? I have dinner plans with her after this, and that doesn't matter. Give that back to her now, otherwise. Ouch! All right! Fine, I'll give it back, so just let go! <laughs> What's your relationship with Reina, huh? Well... No! If we talk about a relationship, you'll face backlash! No, I've already decided to protect you, Reina. So, there's no need to hide anything. Reina is... my fiancé! Please, stay away from her. Huh? You're so funny. You're lying. I'm not going to lie to myself about my feelings anymore. I don't want to see the person I love get hurt because of me. Naoto. <laughs> don't get all arrogant, you gloomy introvert. <sighs> There's no way you could be her fiance. Come to think of it, we haven't settled things from the other day, have we? Well then. I'll beat you and prove that I'm more suitable. Naoto! Gah! Huh? You, you, you were so weak before. What's going on? Since that day you destroyed my bear, I've been working hard to be able to protect Reina. After leaving the club, I joined a gym famous for its tough training regimen. At first, I amazed my trainers with my weak body, but I didn't give up and I kept training every day until I gained a body that impressed the trainers. So, that's why I'm asking you to stop bothering Reina. Huh, don't make me laugh. I'm more suitable for a beauty like Reina. Besides, she's a hostess, right? She must be sleeping around with guys all the time, right? <gasps> why can't you spend some time with me? She's not that kind of person. 
Huh. You're just trying to escape reality, aren't you? So, what if you got a little stronger? I let my guard down earlier, but this time... Please, stop this already. Grr, I, I can't move! I don't mind if you talk badly about me. I forgive you about the teddy bear too, because I'm also at fault. But, anyone who mocks Reyna and her hard work, I won't forgive! Uh, ouch! Apologize to her. Do you want me to know what would happen when you hurt my fiance? Shall I teach you? G get away from me! I I'm really sorry! Amazing! I'm getting hungry. Let's go then. I yeah A few minutes later. I'm glad you're not hurt, Reyna. But the teddy bear got dirty. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, Reyna. Besides, I had another present in mind for today. Huh? <gasps> wow! When you were working part-time, I was also working and saving money. It's not a real engagement ring yet, but a promise ring. But I think I'm finally a man who can protect you. After graduating from university, I'll buy a proper engagement ring. <gasps> so, will you accept this for now? Yes! I'm also looking forward to the day we can get married now, Naoto. A few days after the incident, Chato's actions towards me and Reina became the talk of the university. He was avoided by everyone, and his poor habits and work ethic resulted in failing grades. He is apparently considering dropping out of college. On the other hand, I returned to the tennis club and got along well with other members, enjoying my university life to the fullest. A few years later... Naoto, I love you. Let's build a happy life together. I love you too! I promise to make you happy! The promise from our kindergarten days now became a reality, and we are living happily together. Hi! It's me, Mel! Thanks for watching my channel! I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too!